back to my channel so for today's video I'm going to be showing you my 2021 vision board so I've seen a lot of influencers creators youtubers of that what am I saying <laughs> this is what happens when you don't sleep the night before I'll show you guys how to make a vision board if you're thinking of wanting to do one after you watch this. The supplies you'll need, what I did for pictures and ideas um, and things like that. It's a new year, 2021. We're get to leave 2020 behind us. Out of anything, if we took one thing from 2020, it's just to not take things for granted and to appreciate all that we have because you never know when it can be taken away from us. And I think it 2020 has taught us patience just taught us hopefully how to be better humans going forward and just making better decisions for everyone around us and just like to create a better life all in all and just have a really exciting 2021 I almost said 2020 now nah. but so with that being said I want to show you guys what is on my vision board 2021 okay so the first Thing that I have on the vision board is just Kylie Jenner and the reason I have Kylie Jenner on here is because I would love to have my own makeup line one day um, that's a big big goal of mine a long-term goal but I would love to get there and I think she's just a boss and of I mean not to mention the youngest self-made billionaire so the next one next to Kylie is a picture of Greece specifically Santorini so I've always wanted to go to Greece that's like my main place I've always wanted to visit after watching it actually on Kardashians back in like 2013. Um, I think Sardinia, I always say Sardinia, it's literally um, Santorini and I always want to say Sardinia. Um, it's because I have Italy up here but we'll get to that. But I made sure to get some backgrounds prints too as well so that I could kind of have those as fillers and so there was no just empty awkward like bulletin board spaces. Um, showing. So I just put a background and the Eiffel Tower because I would love to go to the Eiffel Tower one day. I, it's on my bucket list and I just want to be able to cross that off one day. So this next picture is people worshiping at church and it says what a powerful name it is, the name of Jesus. So this one I wanted to put at the top of the board because Jesus is number one in my life and because I really love that song. And at the end of the day, he is the one making any of this actually possible. So the one next to it is a picture of a couple in Italy. Um, I'm not sure where in Italy, but I know that I want to visit Italy one day because Francesca, a foreign exchange student when I was a senior in high school and we became really, really, really good friends. I would consider her one of my best friends when I was a senior. Then she sadly had to go back to Italy, but I would love to go there and visit her again because I haven't seen her in four years. The next one on here is when in doubt, dance it out. So you guys know I love dancing. It's one of my passions in life. It's one of my hobbies. I, I mean, I literally, if you know me, I'm dancing all the time. Then I just have a house right here that is really pretty and it just visualizes the type of home that I wanna have when I'm older and what I want to be able to provide for myself and my family and my future and just where I want to end up in life. Next to it, I have the Vogue cover with James Charles. I just think that is so awesome. Again, for makeup and the beauty industry and just the fact that he is a male and has opened the door for so many young boys and just males in general with makeup. Um, and the fact that he was on the cover of Vogue, that would be such a dream. So the one next to that I have a, it's kind of hard to see, but like I said, I'll zoom in. So this is a Rolls Gold G-Wagons. I don't really know if that will be my future car. I've always loved to do Pringler, but it's really cool because it's not like flashy Rolls Gold. It's matte and it's calmed down. It kind of looks like maroon. And I just feel like if it's not this, it just symbolizes Again, just like the home, like purchasing a car for myself. This one is a picture of Hannah Montana. 
I love my girl Hannah. I just felt like she was important to put on here because she was the first person, I mean really, who taught me how to dream in my life and just taught me that I could be something bigger than myself. So next to it is YouTube. I want to grow my channel and I really, I mean YouTube, I want to have my career on YouTube. I, the one about that says, beauty is in the way you hold yourself. It's how you treat people, the way you love. It's self-acceptance. Beauty is in your soul. You're only as pretty as you treat people. The next thing is don't stop until you're proud. So I have days where I don't feel like working on things, where I just want to not necessarily give up, kind of just at a standstill, I guess, and I get complacent, but I can't stop until I'm proud because then that means I'm not there yet. Right below it is a passport for traveling. And then next to that is Jennifer Lopez. She's an icon in any way. I just think she is the epitome of an entertainer. Next to that is a quote about being in your 20s. Your 20s are your selfish years. It's a decade to immerse yourself in every single thing possible. Be selfish with your time in all the aspects of you. Travel, explore, love a lot, love a little, and never touch the ground. I'll get in moments where I really want a relationship and I'll be like, I wish I had a boyfriend or I wish I had somebody. And then I kind of have to take a step back and remind myself that this is my time to really come into my own and to create a life for myself before I add anybody else into it. And that has always been my game plan and I know it's probably not gonna work out like that. The next one after that is, I think a soulmate is someone who will make you be the most you that you can possibly be. I've always, always said to myself, I will always be unapologetically myself. And if somebody doesn't accept that, and if they don't want anything to do with that, or they try to change you, then they're not for you. Because the person that is supposed to be for you and your soulmate will love you for those things. They won't want to change those. So the next thing is see the world. So of course, that just goes along with traveling. Just travel, see as much of the world as I can. The next thing is Below that is your best days are still out in front of you. So that always gets me excited when I read that because sometimes I feel like my life is at a standstill. And then I think of all of the exciting things I still get to look forward to. My wedding, my career, having family, my sister's baby, my sister's wedding, things like that. There is so much life to be lived and this little moment in time of the world being on pause is temporary and I will be able to do those things. This one's funny, but I had to put it on there because I just feel like it is speaking something into existence and that is I've always been famous. It's just no one knew it yet. So that was said by Lady Gaga and then I also put a red carpet below it, a billboard music awards. So the reason I have that is kind of put into existence of one day being able to attend a music award to be invited there because I know a lot of creators and influencers get invited to these award shows. Next one is if your dreams don't scare you, they are too small. So next one by it is breathe. So self-explanatory just to keep my lungs healthy um, and to keep breathing easy because now I can. Visualize your highest self, start showing up as her. So the next one is when life gets blurry, adjust your focus. This has to do with a couple things. So the first one is YouTube. So I have gone through pretty heavy things in my life and life has gotten very blurry at times and I've always used YouTube as an outlet. So the next thing is capable of great things, self-explanatory too, just knowing that you are capable of these things and that you deserve these things. And next one, trust the timing of your life. I would feel guilty that my friends, you know, were doing things that I couldn't do, that people were looking at me as if I was just a kind of like a bum and would stay at home because CF is an invisible disease and I didn't want people to think that I just didn't go to school just to not go to school and I didn't do these things um, that like other average teenagers of my age were doing. Next one after that is a wedding dress. I didn't really ever think about my wedding because I was really sick 
and honestly like I didn't know my future was very unknown and I didn't I, I just didn't know I'm getting tired it's hitting me the next one is I am empowered to live my highest purpose I feel it and and I will manifest it and I will do it life tried to crush her but only succeeded in creating a diamond there's been a lot of things in my life that could have completely wrecked me and changed me into a different person, but I don't let things change me. You know the saying, like, I stared death in the face and death blinked first. It's like, that's kind of what this feels like. So next one next to it is all of the YouTube awards that YouTube will send you when you reach a certain amount of subscribers, so like the million plaque, I think there's a 10,000 one, but it's not on here. And then there's a 100,000. And then there's the diamond play button, which I think is like 10 million or above. And then I also have this bridge that says, remember where you dreamed of being where you are now. And I just think that's cool because it's like speaking into existence to future me of uh, looking back on doing this vision board and seeing if I have accomplished anything that I've put on here. So the one next to it is a butterfly and again this goes along with love and it says you might not have been my first love but you were the love that made all the other lovers irrelevant radiate positivity so i've always always want my platform to be a space a happy space where people can come to turn the world off because that is what youtube has been for me my whole entire life you are the most valuable investment you will ever make next one down is inspiration so i put that on there because i want to be an inspiration for anybody next one is one of the biggest things for 2021 and beyond is consistency Consistency on my YouTube channel, I struggle with that and I know that consistency is like a main reason why channels pop off and why they grow and the biggest, biggest, biggest reason for growth is consistency so that'll be my number one goal. Below that is music is a safe kind of high. This music captivates me in a way that nothing else does and it really like is a, a sort of high. My mission is bigger than me. Yes, I want to do this for myself and I want to make this career goal for myself, but I also want to give back to CFF, C Cystic, Fibros Cystic Fibrosis Foundation and the organ donation. I feel like I want to give back to the people who have helped me the most. I want to give back to my community who's helped me when I went through my transplant. And it's just, it's bigger than me. So I'm actually gonna go down here in the corner and I just have Addison Ray. Addison Ray, shawty the baddest. I just think she, is such a good person and her positivity shines through everything she does so the one next to that is los angeles you guys know i want to move to los angeles even if it's just for a month a year um whatever i just i want to experience los angeles for everything that it is so next one is get glowing the world needs your magic i release all fear and welcome change so i like this one because it is true that everything you've ever wanted is on the other side of fear Next is financial freedom, a ticket to your dreams. And then below that says, remember why you started. You can't have a million dollar goal with a one dollar work ethic. And then I just have a girl throwing up a bunch of cash. That is Audrey Hepburn. I'm obsessed with fashion, so I had to put a fashion, one of the biggest fashion icons on there. And the last three, this says, my life is overflowing with opportunities of growth. So I just wanted to, again, kind of manifest that, speak that into existence of YouTube is going to lend me so, so many opportunities in this life and YouTube is just the stepping stone for everything that's going to be thrown my way. And this says I'm a magnet of miracles. So just kind of with my transplant and going through things and knowing that I've survived my hardest days. So I just wanted to tell you guys what you'll need for your vision board. I had just gotten a bigger size cork board, bulletin board from Target. And then I went on Pinterest and printed all the pictures out that, is, that just spoke to me. I have other ones over there actually that did not make the board. And then I also got these off of Amazon. Yes. So I just got a 600 piece I think this is 600. Yeah, I got 600 thumbtack pieces. I got these because instead of getting, you know, um, 
pins, the ones that kind of uh, tacks, the one that stick out. Um, these ones are more to the board and flatter onto the board, so they look a lot nicer. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry if I was like yawning a little bit in some parts. I'm so tired. I'm probably going to go take a nap and figure out my life. I can't believe. Like, I've been up since like 7 in the morning yesterday. I, I seriously don't know how I'm functioning and how I have even the amount of energy and the want to kind of like do my hair and even film this. If you guys haven't watched my moving vlog, my moving vlog, go and make sure to watch that now. I will put the link in the description and yeah, so that is all. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys create your vision boards, tag me on Instagram. I will put my Instagram on in the description. Remember to give this video a like, subscribe for more content, and comment down below what your goals are for 2021 or even just beyond what your goals are in general.